Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple logo in Adobe CX6 Illustrator. Illustrator. I'm going to go to Start menu and click on Adobe Master Collection CX6 and I'll look for my Adobe Illustrator. As you can see, Adobe Illustrator CSC is loading. So, this is Adobe Illustrator. You go to File and we click New. You click New and you click OK. So this is our working place and now we click on shape tools. I will click on eclipse and I will draw a circle. I'm going to draw a, a rectangle over the circle. And I will select my selecting tools. I will highlight to select the two together. I will go to Point Finder. If you don't have this on your on your page, you can go to Window and you click on Provider. It's already selected for me. If I click on it, it will disappear. I'll go back and click it back. So. I will go to minus front. That means the front is going to cut out. When I click it, that's so that it lets me with half eclipse. So then I'll go to my direct selection tools. I'll click on it and I'll go to my pen tools. I'll click on to add more, I want to add a little hard anchor points to so I've had more anchor points. I pick on one, two, one, two from the first side. So I'll go back and click my direct select selection tools. I'll put this one out and I'll put this one out i'll do the same the second one i put this one out so i click on selection to to look how it is all right i need i need to do some adjustments some to this side to make it look Good all together. So I'll go back to my pen tool. I'll click on so my pen tool. Click here. Come down. Click here. Click here, click here, click here, and um, click here. So I pick my direct selection tools to make the two to be at the center. So this is good. And I will go and take my pen tools again. I'll click very close to this edge. And I'll come to the center. The center of the 
I will click and drag straight. I'll make sure the line is straight. And I come close here and click. You can see this shape is at the top and it's having three color. So I have to send it back to I have to send it to the back. So I force right click go to arrange send to back but i don't want free color so i'll click on it click on color and i say no color this one also as i don't want free color i click on it. remove the free color click on this one and remove the free color so none of them have any free color again so it seems this one, this curve is a little big, so I, I need to push it out a little bit. So, let me get selected to, to pull it out, out a little bit. So, all right. So, this is how our stuff look like. Let's select it together and give it effect, three D effect, exclude. And let's select front and you know, click on preview so you can see how it looks like. So let's increase the perspective. And it sounds like 70 or 72. So let's click. Okay, so let's increase this one to four, this one to sound like three. So let's give it any color we want, line color. I will give it mm, this one is is okay. So let's use this one. Let's add it together and give it a shadow effect style drop shadow. So let's see preview. It's it's going now. It's, we need to adjust the Y. The Y we have to load the Y area, and we we do the X also to make the shadow closer to the hand of the image. So we need strong buffer grid. Wow, exactly. That's what we want. Oh. Wants it to come inside. No, More dark. Okay. That is okay. Yeah. So we select the two together. I 
and cell group. So, and select our selected tools, so text tools. I mean, we click on dry cleaner. Since nineteen seventy four, put down shift key and expand it. So we are looking for. Give it italics. Hmm. So we do uh, So that is our logo. Thank you very much for following me. This is our simple logo for dry cleaner service. I hope you enjoy the trading. Make sure you click down below to subscribe and click the bell symbol to receive a notice whenever I drop another training. Thank you very much and let's save. Save us. Dry cleaner logo. I save on my desktop. Save. So, okay. All right. Thank you. Very